Smiling crowd out there in Times Square. We're back with our Jimmy Cover stories about the mystery illness in dogs across the country. There's concern it could spread with many families traveling with their pets for the holiday. We'll read over the details. Good morning, Will. Hey, good morning, George. This serious respiratory illness has been seen in multiple states so far with the number of cases climbing. And now vets are turning into detectives trying to figure out just what is making these dogs so sick. It's the mystery illness affecting dogs nationwide and leaving owners like Lauren Salaya worried about their four-legged family members. Over the course of about two days, she continued to have that like dry hacking cough um, and it just kind of progressed from there. Six weeks ago, Salaya from North Carolina noticed her German shepherd, Maddie, showing signs of what she and her vet initially believed was typical kennel cough until it didn't go away. Unfortunately, it is extremely contagious and our French Bulldog got it as well. Cases like this now popping up around the country. Kaylee and Ryan from New Hampshire now dealing with the mystery contagious respiratory disease with their one-year-old Australian Shepherd, Toby. You're like, you know, do we bring him to the emergency vet? When he was coughing, it was, he was like gagging because he was coughing up like phlegm. Veterinarian Dr. Lindsay Ganser, who has already treated 35 dogs with the mystery disease, says the first symptom, coughing, can last for weeks. Starting with a cough, eye or nasal discharge, progressing to more of a wet cough, lethargy, fever, um, not wanting to eat. So you'll notice that their respiratory rate and effort are increased. Their gums might turn blue or purple. Now, as 50 million Americans hit the road for the holidays, concerns about their own furry friends brought sharply into focus. Janet on Facebook wondering if boarding her pet is okay. Most important thing is to avoid any areas where there are a lot of dogs in that space. So avoid boarding them, avoid doggy daycares, going to the groomer, going to dog parks. Sammy questioning if cats are affected too. Right now we're only seeing it in dogs. Um, typically bacteria and viruses don't necessarily spread from species to species. And perhaps the number one question so many want answered, how can we keep our pets safe? definitely get seen by a veterinarian sooner rather than later. The earlier that treatment starts, the better chance they have of not progressing and developing into a pneumonia. Now, don't panic, experts say. If owners do see their symptoms showing, so that should see their pets showing those symptoms of the illness, instead, they should apply the best practices we learned from the pandemic. You should isolate, then seek medical attention for your pet, guys. Good advice. That yeah, sure is. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.